and go to my favorite, the Rocky Road. Now this one you definitely want to be very particular about uh, sifting all the dry ingredients together. Make sure it incorporates all the way through, you know, especially with the cocoa and the baking powder and soda and everything. So you have an even consistency. I've already sifted it a couple times. So we'll do it one last time here. Just to make sure it's nice and evenly through. Another reason you really want to make sure that's sifted good, because uh, with the baking soda and stuff in it, that's a leveling agent. That's what's going to help it to rise, because this isn't a flat cookie nor a hard cookie. It's you know a nice, it's a cake style cookie, and the chocolate's what helps activate the soda uh, to help it to get it to rise. So you want to make sure that's evenly distributed, so that way your cookies will all come out evenly puffed up as well. <laughs> okay. So we'll set that to the side for a second. Then we're going to take some unsalted butter. We want to make sure this definitely does not have any salt because that will affect the flavor in it. And then all we're going to do is whisk that up. Get it works. Yeah, nice and creamy going through there. Okay. Then as we add the rest of the ingredients, that'll help that to soften up even more. So I'm we'll gonna go ahead. On that flour, do you use silk rising or not? All purpose. Yep. <laughs> okay. Get the sugar. Add that in there. Right. Make sure you get all that sugar off the sides and the bottom there. Get that all incorporated into it. Sour cream and the vanilla, okay. Let's take the eggs and sour cream. And then the vanilla. One of these days I'm going to get them to put a plug in right here, so. <laughs> this will make it a lot easier for you to see. <laughs> okay. Let's mix that all in. Make sure you have an even consistency throughout it. It's still going to be a little lumpy. That's okay. All right. Because now, I'll take this and add it to the dry ingredients. if you have a kitchen aid or if you want to do this with a hand mixer you could also do that as well just be careful if it's a hand mixer because you don't want the powder flowing all over because <laughs> it will make a lovely little mess <laughs> 
Okay. Basically, I'm going to make sure, like I said before, just get that off the edges on the bottom there. And then you want to fold in the pecans and the chocolate chips. I mean, yeah. Now you can use, uh, instead of pecans, if you want to use uh, walnuts for this to substitute it, you know, feel free to do that. where you'll find it's actually easier just to fold that in. There you go. Now you want to make sure when you uh, put these onto the parchment paper that you separate them by a good three inches because these will, as a cook up, they'll also flatten out some. It's about one and a half an inch. It's slightly larger. You don't want to put the marshmallows in just yet. Basically what you want to do is let the marshmallows go in about the last two minutes. Uh, once that you see the tops of these is starting to set. It'll turn a light brown as it does it. Then you go ahead and pull them out and you place the marshmallows in on top of it. Cook it approximately two to three minutes. You don't want the marshmallows to melt all over it, just enough to where they get hot and soft. And then, they'll look like this. One thing that's not in this recipe, if you want to, you can drizzle chocolate over the top of them. Give it more of a decorative look. And you can also use white chocolate or white almond bark uh, to drizzle over top of that. Give it a more you know, festive look. And you can also sprinkle uh, colored sugar like the, uh, the green and red mixed together over top uh, for a Christmas style cookie. And that goes really well. Okay. Switch gloves. And you'll know when these are done, because like I said, when you'll see the top starts turning uh, a light uh, brown, the marshmallows will look like they're starting to sweat a little bit. That's when they've softened up and that's when they're ready to pull out. If you see them, <coughs> If they're cooking and they're doing this, that means by the time you pull them out, they're going to melt over all and the entire top. Because after you let them set, they're going to uh, you know, continue cooking a little bit and they will flatten out on there. And then you also want to watch uh, the edges. If it starts getting a little dark, you know you've overcooked it there too. These cookies are actually best if you undercook it just a little bit to have a nice soft cookie. 